Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Moon Goddess Zero. I will hear um, this reading will be for um, all of you guys in the Twin Flame journey. Um, also, I want to let you guys know that I'm opening for um, personal readings at this time. So if you guys are resonating with my videos, please check out the description down below and send me a message and I'll, I'll walk you through my website and that's how you're gonna um, get a personal reading with me um so i asked my spirit guides today what type of message i was gonna do because i wasn't sure if i should do a virgo video libra or leo or what but they got me to a uh, twin flame so i guess there might be a message here for some of you so let's get to it guys uh, so, uh, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine is out there. This reading is for you. So, I hope that these messages find you well. And let's see what messages Spirit Guys has for you. All right, Divine Soul, so the universe, and sisters, and angels, Holy Spirit, please let me do this reading. Uh, let me be using it as your vessel to provide Divine Guidance for the Twin Flames out there. And please provide me with clear um, messages for those that need it the most. And please, guys, if these messages are resonating with you, please uh, don't forget to um, like, share, and subscribe, okay? I really could use the help um, in my channel, okay? All right, guys, I, I'm going to start with the monology deck here and see what are the changes happening in, within your twin flame right now. And then we're going to move up to uh, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine over here, okay? All right, so what are the changes that twin flames it is uh, happening right now? What are the changes that are happening within this twin flame connection? All right, so we have communication is the key, new moon and Gemini, and it's in reverse. So I guess some of you guys are not in communication right now. All right, so communication is the key here, guys. Um, the energy is gaining momentum, boxing moon. So um, I guess there's something really um, gaining momentum right now within your relationship. Okay, so stay up here. We're all gonna clarify that soon. All right, spirit guys, what else? It is time to release negative negativity. So um, it came out in reverse. So some of you guys, it is time to release uh, negative energies out there, okay? Uh, full moon and Scorpio. So you might be dealing with Scorpio, Gemini here, okay? It's time to release those energies, okay? And then we have, look at the bigger picture. Full moon and Sagittarius. You could be a Sagittarius. You're dealing with a Sagittarius yourself. Okay, and to, for you to look at the bigger picture here. Okay, it also said adjustments are required. Third, um, third quarter moon here. Okay, so I just need to make some adjustments right now. This time, I don't want more. So that's what else. What is happening here in this one connection? The message is they need to know what is there. Okay, and then we have. A very clean approaches, okay. So something is about to happen soon. You have to move in areas, okay. So you could be in with areas as well. All right. Um. So let's get a little bit of clarification here when it comes to these cards. Um. I'm gonna pull up from the um angels, uh, romance angels oracle card here. When it comes to communication, it's the key, new moon, and Gemini. What are we getting here? Let's see it. So, the universe, and sisters, and angels. What are we getting here? The communication is the key. We have unrequired love. That is not enough um, attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So, some of you guys feel like this is unrequired love and it's time to. Um, to uh, stop this relationship, okay? So communication is the key, guys. So if you feel this way, just please communicate that with your person, okay? Uh, it says communication is the key here, okay? The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. And it says retreat. 
okay it is time to disconnect from the world okay so some of you guys are being called to uh isolate yourself okay and then it says separation time apart from your partner is in the horizon but it came out in reverse okay so it could be that um this uh separation part might be actually you guys might be coming into union soon or something and uh, with the retreat card here, it is time to disconnect from the world. It's like you guys might uh, been feel called to just go on a retreat or something. All right, with this energy scanning momentum here, waxing moon. So some of you guys might um, um, might actually be in coming into union soon, actually. And I think they don't require love here if there's not enough attraction and chemistry to keep this relationship going and communication is the key in reverse. I feel like some of you have to, um, if you have a third party situation or if you're dealing with a person that you feel uh, is in your energy, they don't require love. Okay, communication is the key here. Okay, guys, you guys have to communicate, okay? Because uh, with this card here, it's like uh, there's not there's not being enough communication here. Okay, it is time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. What is this? What is this? What is this? Okay. It says make it make the effort. Okay. It says great love is worth taking the step you're guided to take. Okay, so. Uh, some of you guys need to release the negative energies, okay, and make the effort towards this connection, okay, because the great love that you're waiting for, it is worth to take the step you guided to take, okay, so some of you guys, your spirit guys are guiding you to this connection, okay, but it's going to take a great love and worth uh, for you to take your steps, okay, a lot of faith too, look at the bigger picture from the Sagittarius, this is what is here. They have um, give your relationship a chance. Work on this, um, your partnership. Okay, so some of you guys are are being called to kind of like just take a look at like a like a bird side point of view. Like like if you do with a bird to look down into the world, like what do you see? Okay, look at the bigger picture. Okay, what is it that you see when you see your person? Okay, and um. What are your plans or like what do you see in your future okay and then uh you're being called to just give this relationship a chance okay work on your partnership with this person okay if this is your person uh, it is time for you to give it a chance okay uh your uh angels and um you guys are um are calling you to communicate uh your needs with this and require love okay to separate uh to come towards this person, have this retreat, okay? The energy is getting the momentum, okay? It's time to release the, the negativity in this situation and make the effort, okay? And it is time to uh, look at the bigger picture and give this relationship a chance, okay? All right, guys, let's see what else. And they said, adjustments are required. And then we said, getting to know each other. Has you really... Has you revealed your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. So I guess like some of you guys need to take the steps to give this relationship a chance and start to getting to know each other. You might uh, actually just met your twin flame for the first time or you're starting to get to know your twin flame for the first time. So uh, had you really, uh, had you guys revealed to each other your innermost self, um, your bond is gonna deepen, okay? That love is gonna grow. So, um, just make those adjustments, okay? Uh, plan that first date, okay? Plan that, that phone call, plan that, that make the effort, okay? That you've been guided to take here, okay? And start to get into know your person, give that, that person your chance, okay? So if you, if you feel like you found the one that this is your twin flame, just give it a shot. What do you have to lose, you know? That's what I'm getting here. All right, I say two more approaches. Yeah, full moon in area, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. If you have any doubts, guys, I'm 
your guys are actually telling you this is your soulmate have no doubts okay fairy clima approaches full moon in areas this is your soulmate okay if you have any doubt this is confirmation that they know no doubts are are uh, needed here okay this is your soulmate okay this is the person you've been looking for okay it's a beautiful reading already at the bottom of the deck we have uh, romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring okay so if you had any doubts guys um i feel like there's no more doubts here okay just go ahead and make that move uh you are ready to um to make this first step okay just go ahead and make that effort okay release that negativity and you're out of your mind okay um if you had if you feel like you have any unrequired love in your uh, in your life communication is the key here okay um break that connection okay uh it's time to uh come forward okay retreat with your person make the effort get to know each other give this relationship your best chance and yes this is your soulmate so take that chance guys it is time okay let's see what is um the soul through of the divine feminine what is divine feminine going through at this time what is the soul truth of the divine feminine remember guys divine feminine is going to be in this side with the little bits here divine masculine is going to be here in the plain area over here i hope you guys can see with the camera there all right so what is the uh soul truth of the divine feminine what is divine feminine going through right now? What is she thinking? What is the soul through here? What is happening right now in this divine feminine? What is her question? What is the most important question when it comes to this twin flame relationship? Are spirit please give me the answers I need to know? Okay, okay, good. Well, she has a lot. Okay, this divine feminine has a lot. She's uh, she's wondering, am I on the right path? Okay. And this said, sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lost trust in the process and question if we even on the right path at all. Know this, you are on the right path. Keep going, keep believing, keep remembering that you made a soul contract that you are currently fulfilling in every area of your life. Even if you can see it, that doesn't mean that it's not real. Today, so action. Today, search for other ways that you align with your soul purpose. The signs will appear. Let this newfound trust fuel your next steps, okay? So Divine Feminine, if you've been wondering if you're in the right path, girl, guys want you to know that yes, you are in the right path, okay? How can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? Okay. So the divine man, uh, feminine, divine masculine is wondering how can she infuse more self love and compassion into her daily life? And it says, if your compassion does not include yourself in it, it is incomplete. So today, self actions, choose one self care action to do today. Set stronger boundaries, meditate and listen to your heart, and speak to yourself with compassion. Focus on your strengths. Say no to something that isn't a soul yes. Say yes to something that you are afraid of. Let go of what you cannot control. Stay far away from the drama and negativity. Ask for help and allow it. Write down three things you are grateful for. Beautiful. Okay. All right. What am I most afraid of losing? Okay. So she uh, is definitely afraid of losing something. And it says, as we grow change and transform our life it is required us to let go of something that was to make room for what will be if you were to take the big leap today would you feel scared or losing love safety or belongings what if it was a big fat lie what if it was impossible to lose any of those things because you have the power to give everything you need to yourself interesting huh Name that fear and look at the worst case scenario. Find a solution. Take your power back by being certain of who you are and where you are going. Today's mantra. I move forward knowing I am powerful beyond measure. I am loved. I am safe and I belong. All right, Divine Feminine. You have nothing to be afraid of, okay? So what is the um, soul truth here? 
of the Divine Masculine. What do I believe about money? Do my beliefs match my dreams? Okay, so um, Divine Feminine, I think your Divine Masculine is a little worried about money and his dreams at this time. So it says, how does your relationship with money affect your current situation? Do you believe you are worthy? Do you believe you are capable? Do you trust money? Does money trust you? Money is an energy. It ebbs and flows. You are worthy of it, and it's your responsibility to heal your relationship with money as part of your waking up to the whole you and your purpose. Today's soul action. Take a deep dive in your belief system around money. Are there any beliefs you need to upgrade to create the results that you want in most in life? Write out your money story. It is time for a sacred shift. What will your next chapter will be? Fill in the blank. I am grateful to money because... Mm. What is the most... What is the most limiting... Limiting belief keeping me from what I want right now? Okay, so what is limiting this if I'm asking from keeping him from what he wants right now? What story are you telling yourself? When you think about your dreams, what is the first limiting thought that comes to your mind? If you are not living the life you desire, it's because a part of you doesn't believe it's possible? It is today's action. It is time to upgrade. Look, at, look your belief in the eye. Where did it come from? What new belief are you ready to adopt in his place? How will you change your results? Remember, your belief is the root of your result. Own it, heal it, upgrade it. Okay. All right, divine masculine. Let's put up a angel. Divine banners from the angels. Where are the divine angels from this connection from to tell you guys? Where is the divine angel from this connection from to tell you guys? In this relationship as a whole, what is the divine guidance in the relationship as a whole? Dreams. All right, guys. Dreams and guidance. Okay, so we have. It is time to follow your dreams and aspirations. Okay, guys, it is time to, for you guys to follow your dreams and aspirations and guidance. You are being encouraged to ask your angels for guidance on your current situation. Okay, guys, so it's time for you guys to dreams on your as, dreams and aspirations. And it's time for you guys to ask your um, angels for guidance when it comes to your queen flame connection. Okay, so don't forget to dream. And follow those dreams, okay? And don't forget to ask for guidance when you need help, okay? Definitely when it comes to this, um, this twin flame right now. It is, it is very important right now that you ask your angels and your guys for guidance, okay? All right. What is the most important thing that, that this divine feminine needs to know, angels? Smile. Beautiful. It says, cheer up, cheer others up with a smile. A smile goes a long way, all right? And I'm guessing you do a very, very smile, Divine Feminine, okay? It makes others light up the whole room, all right? Yeah, that us. Power. Do not, give um, do not give your power away to others. It is okay to say no, okay? Stand your ground, Divine Feminine, okay? Do not give your powers to others. Okay, so if you feel like you've been taking advantage of, it's okay to say no. Just say no, period. All right, stand in your power. 
take the power back, Divine Feminine. All right, Divine Masculine, what is your uh, angel guidance here? Oh, fun. Send to have fun. It looks like you're not having any fun, Divine Masculine. Fun times may appear quicker than expected. Okay, be looking to have fun. Be, be, be waiting for it, okay? You may be having a lot of fun soon, Divine Masculine. I don't know what you're planning, but it'll be, it'll be very fun. I don't know. I'm getting a lot. I'm getting very hot out of the sun and divine mask. And I don't know what's in your mind. All right. Let's see. Fun. What else is there? And pray. Good energy. Yes. Release your worries to the angels and take time out to pray. Okay, divine mask. And take out. Take some time out and, and pray to, um, to, um, to God, to your angels, okay? To whatever you believe in, okay? We are here very um, open-minded here. So whatever it is that you believe in, go ahead, take, take some time to pray, okay? Pray to God, pray to your angels, um, to your protectors, okay? They're here to guide you, okay? You're not alone in this uh, in this journey, okay? You got people out, uh, out there protecting you um, from heaven, okay? So take some time out and pray. Release your worries to the to God, to the angels, okay? Let them take care of it, okay? You are masculine. And don't worry about it. If you've been stressing out, if you've been overthinking things, this, this is you. Just remember that fun times may appear quicker than you expected, okay? Um, so let, let's try to find out a little bit more. What, what, is, what is coming through this couple? What is coming? What's coming here? Holy Spirit. This is just amazing. What's coming? What's coming through them? So give this relationship a chance. Let me make an effort. What is coming? What is coming? Honesty. You have a very honesty relationship. Look at this. Be honest with yourself about your current situation. Okay. What else? It's a beautiful reading. You guys. Laughter. Okay. Replace your current stresses with laughter. Okay. Very beautiful. Helping. Give a little time to help others in the moment of need. Okay. So, maybe uh, helping others. Okay. And then we have motivation. Motivation is the key to success. Okay. Oh, this is so beautiful. So, there's going to be a lot of laughter in the relationship a lot of honesty a lot of helping and motivation okay very beautiful very beautiful and then the bottom of the day we have uh goodness trying to see the good in others and in this situation okay so some of you guys need to have to open up that heart, okay? Open up that, that, that heart chakra, okay? Trying to see the good in others in this situation, okay? Some of you guys have been uh, maybe way too um, closed up, okay? Because then we have leap. Uh, it is time to leap out of the darkness and into the light filled with possibilities, okay? Have faith, yeah. So you guys been restless. You know, moving forward, it says progress, steady progress can go a long way. Intuition, no using your intuition. Yeah, they all reverse. You are becoming more intuitive, taking up for your thoughts and feelings. Yeah, they all reverse. So you guys, you guys need to uh, maybe have a, a break and rest. Some of you guys that might not be um, sleeping well lately. Okay, um, take time to progress, okay, uh, take that first step, okay, steady process can go a long way, you know, um, and use your intuition, okay, some of you guys are very intuitive, you guys know, deep, deeper in your heart, deeper in your, um, your soul, you know that what step to come, okay, and you're becoming way more intuitive, so take notes of your thoughts and feelings, okay, write things down, okay, the abundance okay be open to release uh, receive abundance and when we talk about abundance sometimes we forget it's not about money okay 
And sometimes we have this when we talk about abundance, we have this money mentality, but abundance comes in many ways and forms, okay? Abundance can just be happiness in your life, okay? A life full of love, a life full of happiness, of of dreams coming through, of of a uh, a family achieving goals, okay? Of 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 living a a a a, a living. A, a life that you always desire, okay? Yeah, holy. Trust in the Holy Spirit. God is with you, okay? Some of you guys need to renew that um that connection with God, okay? With with the Holy Spirit, with your angels, okay? To connect with God, okay? Pray. And I think I'm talking here to the divine masculine, okay? Take some time to release your worries to the to God, okay? Pray. Renounce that God is your source of light, okay? And have faith. Have faith that all things are possible, okay? Okay, and then we have love. Love yourself and feel the love within your heart, okay? Remember that self-love is the key to success here, guys. I can't um, express that enough in this channel, okay? So this is a very, very beautiful connection, uh, you guys. Um, whoever you guys are, you are very, very lucky. I feel about to meet your king friend for real. This is a very, very beautiful reading. Beautiful. All right, let's see what is going on um, within this relationship and the physical. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Holy Spirit, answers the intercessions and numbers. What is happening within this king friend connection right now? What is happening in the divine feminine? This, what's happening in the divine feminine? Let's ask that question. Okay, in the Divine Feminine, we have a new beginning, done, okay, how oh, beautiful, it's getting a new beginning, wheel, maybe traveling soon, how oh, beautiful, Divine Feminine, look at that, if you talk to her stuck, you're no longer stuck, look at the wheel here, okay, you're about to go, honey, you're about to go somewhere, I don't know, but you look very fancy too, Okay, it's like it's like you're reconnecting with yourself. You're getting this new beginning. You are you are connected. Your mind, body, and soul. Okay, you're ready. You're ready to take this step, and you're ready to go. And I don't know if you guys heard that, but that's confirmation back there. Okay, you are ready. You know where you're going. There's not nothing stopping you now. Okay, this is your time, divine feminine. Very very well. Now uh, that's happening with divine masculine. I'm asking where you at. Where you at, the one nice for You. Okay, what else? And cut a love. Oh, and rich. Okay. So, what I see here is like. But the young masculine here is like he's walking away from something. Uh, a, it could be walking away from from a place of work, from family, from I don't know, from people, places, and things, I don't know from why he's walking away, but he's definitely walking away from something, okay, uh, he's thinking in his, in all the, uh, in his cattle wealth, okay, what he's going to put into the future, okay, what is going to be his, his next move when it comes to his um, future here, okay, but he's definitely walking away from a past situation here, okay, and then he's going to step into this new future, and here and this has to do something that it comes with a home situation here we have a brush here so it's like uh, settling down i think this this masculine is is about to just um settle a life of home of a dream life but it has to do with this this house, this home situation, this this person is very um I feel like he he likes to live well, he, he likes money, he likes wealth, but he also desires this 
this home this 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 beautiful maybe family situation this this isolated i don't know i i feel like there's just not any other houses in there maybe maybe this masculine would like to isolate from everybody after retirement or something or maybe he's just stepping into a new dream but there's definitely something about his living situation that he's about to change and he's walking away and he's stepping into this this dream this new reality when it comes to this this home situation that's what i'm getting here okay definitely he's walking away from something and he's stepping into this this new kind of well this this new dream that involves this this dream house this 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 dream of his and definitely involves a house a house here it's a beautiful house too by the way it's you got big dreams the masco and it's all here as soon as you walk through that through that door and soon you'll see the rainbow you'll see everything you just have to walk away and i'm getting here that this has to do with with this unrequired love here and the communication is the key here okay so then you can just move on with um with this separation that you are far from your person and retreat with this person just going kind of from the world maybe this is what you you're trying to do this kind of from the world okay at this time maybe you're just walking away from um from all that drama or the life you're living right now maybe you would like to just retreat and just be with this person for a while um i can hear um My singing bells outside from my backyard, like the wings. So not, that might be a confirmation to somebody. But yeah, definitely. Know that um, you're definitely going to have a lot of fun. Um, whatever it is that this dream that you desire, divine masculine, as soon as you walk away, for what no longer serves you, as soon as that you step into your... Um, you release those worries to the angels and you pray and you walk out of that you release that energy you know of here release it it's time to release the energy and you make the effort and you know that great love is working it's for taking the step that you guided to take as soon as you know you take this this um these steps you are being guided by by your guides, by the angels, by, by God. And you walk away. You're gonna have everything you you want. You want you're gonna have that, that wealth, that that house, that dream that you want. You you're gonna have it because this is your soulmate. We're talking about this is what you ever dream of, what you've been asking your angels for. And I said it, uh, it was 33, um, 33 at the time. And when I look up to that number, might be significant for somebody. But, um, yeah, so that number, you could be seeing that number. Um, but, yeah, this is very, very beautiful. Very beautiful reading. Um, yeah, let's see. What are the feelings here? What are, what are, uh, what are the feelings here? What are these divine, uh, feminine feels? Judgment. She feels judge. Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Okay. She understand it though. 
Hey, there's any judgment coming towards this divine feminine. This divine feminine has went to a good awakening. This divine feminine knows and she understands that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So she is not judging anybody here, okay? And forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. And she forgives. This is a divine feminine. She's really, really loving, caring. This is the Queen of Cups. I mean, look at this forgiveness. I acknowledge the harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Beautiful energy, divine feminine. Beautiful. All right, let's see divine masculine here. What's going on with divine masculine? What's your energy here? <clears throat> Patience. Very, very, very patient, huh? And service. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so this is um masculine feel like he needs to be patient. Okay, I said that everything happens in divine order. Okay, being very patient here. Okay, beautiful energy and service. I feel good when I can help others. Okay, so you understanding that you feel good when you can help others. This is very, very beautiful, okay? Very, very beautiful. So this is why I do guys are understanding that um, you should not judge anybody, that everybody, that everyone has their own unique path and challenges, divine feminine, and then you are willing to forgive, that you know the harboring the resentment blocks the flow of love. Beautiful. And then this is why masculine is... He's being patient. I said that everything happens in divine order. And he's being of service. He feels good when he can help others. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Beautiful energy here. Beautiful. All right. So, I don't think I can even say more. Like, I mean, this is just so beautiful. I think, um, I think either one of you has to make the steps okay either um if one of you are in a required love connection one of you will have to um communicate this okay communication is the key to success here okay and then um take that step to um to come towards your person okay we three take some time together okay uh, make that effort, okay, Get uh, um, give this relationship a chance, get to know each other, and yeah, if you had any, um, if you had any um, doubts, just know that this is your soulmate, yes it is, he or she is your soulmate, nothing to worry about here, okay, just take that leap of faith, okay, this time, let's see what the tarot has to do here, what is, what is, um, I'm just so, um, intrigued. It's so beautiful. I don't know how you want to say my sister's and angels. Why is that terrible? Um, cards have for me here. What is, um, the next step here? Oh, the next step here when it comes to this connection. Who, who got a gift what? I mean, who's coming towards who here? Because, I mean, somebody got a gift. A beautiful connection about to come into union, so what is happening? Holy Spirit, what do you guys need to see? Oh, yeah, foresight. All right, this card said travel, moving aboard, whatever land, foresight, <clears throat> forward planning, moving, self confidence, self belief, freedom to set happy with choices, outcome, hard working, paying off, experience with life. So, so uh, three of ones is like somebody planning ahead, moving forward, okay? Trying to come towards you, okay? Uh, let's see. All right, and then we have, yeah, a romantic, uh, romantic proposal, offer, invitation, taking action, following your heart, okay? Ignite of cups, okay? Then night of cups, somebody's coming towards you, okay? Following your heart, attraction, dating, affection, your ideal man or woman, intelligent, young person, full of new ideas and proposals, okay? This is happening fast, okay? We have the eight of ones, okay? Uh, happiness, speed, progress, movement, actions, okay? Exciting times, travel, freedom, holidays, romances, taking off, getting momentum, ahead, thinking, 
on your feet hard work paying off for soul solutions energetic okay this person is going very very fast guys but you see there's this woman or this man but somebody is moving they're taking action okay all right all right and then we have the five of ones reverse if there was any conflict there are no more conflicts here okay yeah seven of ones i'm sorry Holding on your beliefs, giving up, and admitting defeat, okay? All right. So it's somebody was standing their ground and uh, and being just like, you know. Um, <clears throat> they're no longer, no longer doing that, okay? They're giving up, admitting defeat here, okay? What else is coming in here? Let's see. Oh, this star, beautiful. Yeah, and this star says, The universe showed me that I can have faith in my dreams. Hope, recognition, inspiration, creativity, calm, content, renewal, regenerate, spirituality, healing, positive faith, and healing, renovation. Okay, so um, you got the star. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. It's just like somebody just admitted defeat, let it go, surrender to the divine, and, and this is what happened. Okay, let's start. Yeah, yeah, the real fortune came down, okay? It's divine timing, okay? Good luck, destiny, chance, karma, soulmates, the civil moments, cycles of life, faith, fortune, uphill the chance. Okay, it's divine timing. This is this is the time. It needs to happen just like this. Okay. Anything else? Being vulnerable, self-doubt, weakness, loss of fortune, lack of confidence, feeling inadequate. Okay, somebody um, it's not having the, the, the full strength here, okay? The, 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 they don't feel strong enough here, okay? They're feeling vulnerable, or they, um, okay? Feeling self-doubt, weakness, self-esteem, lack of confidence here. What's going on? What is this? What is there? What is this verse? Oh, no. Oh, no. That sadness, love, grief, despair, abandonment, guilt, remorse, regret, trauma, murmuring, heartbreak, unwelcome change, focus on negative emotions, isolation, and loneliness. All right. Whoever you are, you got to move out of that energy, okay? You have such a beautiful path here laying right in front of you here, okay? Move out of that energy, okay? It's time to take action, okay? Yes. This is your action, okay? All right. Show me spirit. Show me spirit. They're, they're gonna move out of that energy. They're gonna move it to their towards the, the divine feminine here, divine masculine. What's going on? They, they can't be feeling that way. What is this? What is this grief despair? What is this? Uh uh. Not anymore. Come on. What's happening? Oh my god, and this film is great. Hold on, guys. <sighs> For real. For real, guys. Okay, we have the resilience, not the ones, okay? We have ongoing battle, okay? Fatigue, drain of energy, nearly there, close to success, courage, okay? Perseverance, gather your strength, find your corner, last stand, okay? Somebody's taking the last stand here, okay? Somebody's being raised resilient in this situation, all right? Somebody's being all beat up here, right? All beat up, taking the last stand. Man, what is this? Holy Spirit. What is this? Oh, yeah. So somebody feel defeated here. This is surrender, shame, walking away. Self-sabotaging behavior. Okay. Lack of communication. Bullying, intimidation, abuse, violence, crime. Okay. Somebody feel defeated here. Alright, somebody uh, found the clarity, okay, this is a short confirmation, it's saying the truth. New idea, new plans, okay, victory, success, mental clarity, clear thinking, breakthrough, ability to concentrate, communication, realize the truth, vision, force, focus, intensity, simulating people, okay. So it's like somebody got like an alignment here, somebody can see clarity now, okay. Somebody, uh the sun okay it's like i shine my light to the world around me and my radiance attracts more success okay it's like somebody have a big 
I picked it up in me here, okay? So somebody saw the alignment of the situation here with the uh, Ace of Swords and the and the sun here is beautiful, okay? It's, the senses, positive freedom, fun, success, optimism, vitality, joy, confidence, self-expression, good love, enthusiasm, happiness, truth, openness, and pregnancy. Okay, so it's just like a new beginning, okay? It's like somebody definitely had like a big um, clarity in the situation, okay? It's like they had the big the way of thinking now. Okay. All right. Have a choice. Okay, somebody is in two packet decision option planning. Okay, grass is always greener on the other side. Immigration, so then leaving, deciding to stay or go, waiting, anticipation, resonant detachment, withdrawal, and wanderlust. Okay, and I think this is where we at, right? This is where we at, guys. Where this person is in unrequired love, right here. Not sure to make an effort here. That's confirmation. Something fell out here. All right, this is where we at in a choice. All right, two paths. All right, the rest is always greener on the other side. So, what path are you guys gonna take? Ay, ay, ay. Mm -hmm. Routine, patient, preference, and respect of so, uh, source of money, income, time heals our wound. We have a patient. Here he goes, the Knight of Pentacles. He's not moving though, he's staying stuck there. Uh, what is uh, it's stuck in that routine? You see, is that Knight of Pentacles moving? That's all I know. It's still standing it's here. Yes, it looks like he's moving, okay? Partnership, unity, love, uh, compatibility, happy couples, potential soulmate, relationship, harmony, balance, equally, attraction, connection, proposals, engagement, marriage, mutual respect, okay? Two of cups came down. So, I don't know, two options. We had the two of cups. Two, two, two. Two, two, two could be significant. You might be seeing uh, 112 as well. Teamwork, okay. Um, uh, learning, uh, apprentice learning, and studying, working hard, commitment, building a success, collaboration, teamwork, determination, goals, the room, quality, attention to detail, tra uh, trace person, achievement, recognition, and rewards. So this might call to work together in this relationship or something. Okay. Yeah. All right. Somebody's. Holding on, okay? Holding on to people, possession issues, okay? Past issues, stagnancy, control, possessing and financial stability, financial security, saving for a big purchase or retirement, greedy, materials or wealth. Okay, so some are very, very uh, holding tight, okay? It's very an imbalance in this situation, okay? We have the temperance. I know my streams and now I seek peace. Imbalance, if indulgence, says clashing, lack of perspective, discord, and allergy, reclesses, and hastings. Okay, so we have the angel here. Okay, I guess I've been then uh, backstabbing, betrayals, enemies, that nothing. Okay, in the end, that's what the main imbalance in this situation. Okay, so this is why this is divinely guided to happen now. Okay, there's a lot of main betrayals and ending and imbalance in this situation. And you guys have been calling to call balance into the situation, okay? You've been guided to take this test to balance this situation out, okay? Because this is your soulmate. All right? And then we have fulfillment, okay? Which is coming through, realizing your dream happiness, cheerful joy, fulfillment, possibilities, optimism, satisfaction, success, abundance, prosperity, achievement, rewards, confidence, high self-esteem, strength. That's what you're gonna get, the Knight of Cups. Beautiful. So beautiful. <clears throat> okay, and if you had um, the third person that came across that he was a bad advice, scheming fraud, an alcoholic, a drug addict, a one who looks out only for himself, okay? He was time to let go, okay? Yeah, 
that situation is why what is the skin of cups that situation or why what is the skin of cup here there's always somebody in the reading the readings jesus christ but but can they just let it be these two people why there's always the third person trying to just get there what is the skin of cups of a spirit what is this over i am not keeping this wrong come on what is this skin of cups oh Loneliness, but in isolation. Being responsive with ranty social regular paralyzed by fear. Okay, this is not a cops who was trying to interfere here now. It's, it's freaking out, okay? It's trying, he's freaking out because this connection is getting, um, it's coming to fruition, okay? So that's what is happening with the skin of cops reverse. Okay, yep. And that's right. Judgment, okay? We have the judgment card, judgment, self population, awakened, remember, composure, decision, and homesick, snap, judgment, abortion, blame, and forgiveness. Okay, judgment came down, and now he's looking and all the things coming to fruition. The hard work he's paying off. Okay, this is this is what you work for. Okay, all this that you did towards these two people, this is what you work for. Okay, the chariot came down. Okay, this is the year of the chariot. Okay, 2023, year number seven. Victor recommending obstacles, success, ambition, determination, willpower, control, self discipline, hard work, and success. No obstacle, obstacles will stop me now. Period. All right. So that is what is happening, guys. This is meant to happen like this because this is this is divine timing. In the bottom of the deck, we had the emperor. Okay. This is this is the divine um, kind of part. Of the empress, a new job, stability, secure protection, total control. Yeah, return to roots. Okay, sharing memories. This is somebody that you share memories of the past with. Okay, you guys probably will get into a new job. Okay, no more anxieties. Okay, it's success, recognition. The empress, look at how beautiful it is. The empress and the empress. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Yeah. I can't say it more clearly, guys. I'm sorry, this the uh, of just pop up here. Just always somebody trying to ruin the reading. But uh, if this message resonated with you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'm gonna throw the dice here for you guys and see what um. What signs you could be and what numbers could be um resonating with you at this moment okay so bear with me very quick all right so you could be a tarot um scorpio pisces cancer or you could have that in your birth chart you could also be a gemini uh virgo leo leo Libra and um, Capricorn. That's what I see. Um, the most strange ones here are you could be Cancer, and you could be very uh, high aspect in your chart. Okay, a Virgo. Libra and Leo, Tauro, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Numbers you might be seeing could be oh, 999, closing cycles. Very good. Yes, you could be seeing 1, 2, 3, which means abundance. One, two, three. I see another three dice over here. Look at this beautiful one, two, three. One, two, three. Nine, nine, nine. Okay, you also could be seeing the number um, five, five. It could mean changes. Okay, you could also be seeing the number uh, 11, 10, 11. Okay, 11, 11. All right, and I think um, maybe. The number 11 could be significant, 10, 11 could be significant, okay? 4, 11 could be significant, 9, 11 could be significant. All right, All right guys, and let me see. Um, I'm going to throw 
this in here really quick. It's, um, not the chance and see what other things that you might be seeing or to be of um, significance for you guys. The collection of this is out for your reading. little ball I did the last time I did for them reading this one came out too okay and then we have the moon okay and then a cat and I think that's a fox for the moon Yes, a fox. Sorry, guys. Um, and what love, of course, we're talking about love. But you might be seeing that word everywhere, or you might be into, I don't know, um, the sun. Okay. Look at this. Two hearts reuniting. How beautiful is that? See that star on it? Okay. Oh my god, guys. Look at that. Um, an elephant that also means prosperity, okay? You could um, be seeing cross, so you might wear a cross. Okay. Cross could be significant. And um, you could be seeing uh, bees or insects at this time. Okay. That's confirmation back there. All right. You could be seeing Christmas trees. Some of you. Or trees could be the significance. All right. Let's see. Um, an, an anchor. You might be seeing anchors or anchors could be a significance some of you okay um here is half a tower all right um the love of uh lotus star, uh, flower that could be significant some of you flowers could be significant and um like a pin, like a close pin of some sort of, um, it has some leaves too, but it's like a cloth pin if you, I don't know if you guys can see that, but, yeah, interesting charms. Alright guys, so this is your Twin Flame update reading, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, mm -hmm. and I really, really wish you the best, and this um, twin flame reunion guys congratulations this is a beautiful reading and i hope you can put the uh, past behind you and move forward and step into this uh, beautiful connection okay you deserve it all right so i hope you guys have a great day and uh remember the self-love is the key to success okay right see you in my next video